What's up gamers, it's Wolf in another video today and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys my top 5 Hisuian Pokemon that need to be added in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So a few days ago Pokemon uploaded a Pokemon Presents showing news on Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Cafe Remix, hmm, nice one, Pokemon Masters and etc. One of the games they gave news on is Pokemon Legends Arceus and they revealed a lot of information. One of the things they showed is that there will be Hisuian Pokemon, a new regional variant and new evolutions. So in this video I'll be sharing with you guys 5 Hisuian Pokemon I want to see in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Starting off with number 5, Magnezone. Now I found this design on Twitter and I thought this looked very cool as an ancestral Magnemite line. And I'll show you guys what they look like on the screen right now. So this Hisuian Magnemite is an electric and rock type, we even have some information about it so instead of floating like the regular Magnemite, it is hopping since it's technically a rock. It also emits non-stop weak electromagnetic waves. Then we have Hisuian Magneton and again it is an electric and rock type. The information we have for this Pokemon is that together they have enough energy to levitate for short periods of time but they still prefer to walk on ground. Then we have Hisuian Magnestone aka Magnezone, it has the same typing as the first two Magnet Gang, well now it's a Rock Gang I guess. Anyways, Magnestone is a lost evolution for Magnezone and what's more interesting is its mysteriously intense power allowed this massively heavy body to levitate immediately. I really love these designs and love how when it evolves it gradually starts levitating which is pretty cool. Number 4 is Golurk. So for a Goldrix design, I think it should be a Samurai robot because let's be honest, Legends Arceus give those Samurai vibes. So there definitely should be a Samurai sort of Pokemon. And if Game Freak wants to be a little extra, just a little, there could be a Knight, Viking and Samurai version of Goldrix. So all three of these forms will obviously be in different areas. For the typings, the knight form will be a steel and ghost type since it's a knight and they wear steel armor. For the samurai form, it would be fire and ghost since guessing from what color they would give, it would definitely be red. Then the viking form which will be fighting and ghost. They could also do something where we catch Goldurk and we need to find a specific item and give it to Goldurk so it can evolve. So if you give Goldurk a knight helmet, it will transform into the knight form. Give it a samurai helmet, it will transform into the samurai form. Give it a viking hat, it will transform into the viking form. But I really like the way where you can transform it with the items more rather than Goldurk being in different areas. Number 3 is Onyx. Now a lot of people including myself wanted a regional variant of Onyx and the most popular design and the one I personally would like to see in this game is the Crystal Onyx. So if I were to tell you how Onyx became Crystal Onyx, it would be a pretty simple story. So Onyx somehow came into the cold parts of the Desui region and they froze for let's say 1000 years 2000 years later and turned into the Crystal Onyx. The typing for this Pokemon is pretty obvious but it's going to be Ice and Rock type. They could also give Steelix the Crystal Form and if Megas will be added in the game which probably won't be added but if they do come then they can give Mega Steelix a Crystal Form and the crystals that are already on Mega Steelix could glow to some sort of color and be a rare gem that can't be found anywhere else except on Mega Steelix's body. Number 2 is Luxray. Since the Hisui region is the old version of the Sinnoh region, there has to be a Sinnoh Pokemon in this list and that's going to be Luxray. So Luxray is going to be a Snow Saber Tooth Pokemon and it's going to be a pure Ice type Pokemon since I can't really think of an appropriate duo type for Luxray. One of the cool features they showed in Pokemon Legends Arceus were Berserk Pokemon. It could be a good Berserk Pokemon since I want it to be like Myena where they go in groups and catch their prey and just chill in a pretty cool place. No pun intended. Now finally, number one is the starters in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So of course there are three starters and they are Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and Oshawa. Now of course I don't think the Pokemon themselves will be Hisuian Pokemon but rather its evolutions. So basically it will evolve into its second stage which is Dewat, Gulava, and Dartrix. Then either they just evolve into a new last stage starter rather than the original or they evolve into their original ways and they will transform into a new form and they can't switch back. Now I don't think their typings will switch except for of course Typhlosion and Samurott since they don't have dual types like Decidueye and honestly I really like the idea of a grass and ghost type just like almost everyone else and I just hope they don't change the typing in this game. So if they do change the typings for the starters then for Typhlosion it would be fire and dark. 
the typing for Samurai would either be water and fighting or water and ice. For Decidueye, it could be grass and psychic. I honestly think psychic is close enough to ghost regarding the designs and typing overall, so if it's grass and psychic, I won't mind because imagine Decidueye shooting its arrows at its opponents and if it misses, then Decidueye will use its psychic powers and control the arrows so it can hit the opponent. And I think that would be pretty sick. In regards to how they evolve into these new forms, it could either be an early stage of Mega Evolutions but it's not fully capable to the point where it can't transform the Pokemon back or you give some secret item or food and it'll transform into its ancestors I guess. Which could probably relate to the story somehow which will be very interesting. Anyway, so that's my top 5 Hisuian Pokemon that needs to be added in Pokemon Legends Arceus and if you enjoyed this video then please give this video a like, comment down below what Pokemon you think will have Hisuian Pokemon and tell me some things about it and its typing. Also please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more Pokemon Legends Arceus content in the future since I will be doing a lot of them especially when it releases. But anyways, thanks for watching today's video and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Till then stay safe and have an awesome day gamers.